Hello and what is up? Welcome back to Sim Airport again. Um, oh my god. Okay, so I played this about six months ago when it came out. I mean, I actually played it the very first day that it was um, released on Early Access, I suppose. And uh, I recorded it almost immediately because I was so pumped about it. It just looked so much like Prison Architect and it seemed like it would run the same way. And you know, of course, with it being an early access game and everything, it, um, boy, it had some problems. I mean, people were getting stuck. It was, it was like, it was almost unplayable, and I really didn't enjoy it a whole lot, so I came back to it a few months later, still with the same issues, um, and I ended up playing this, I don't know, about a month ago or so, and it was a whole lot better, so I'm gonna give it another go, because it was not a whole lot of fun <laughs> the, the very first time, I gotta admit, have to be honest. So, um, we're, we're going to go ahead and start in career mode, sure, why not, um, choose your play style. Mm, cannot spend if negative balance. Yeah, that's kind of the same in real life. Game is uh, game ends if negative for 48 hours. Didn't know that. Glad I read it. Uh, sandbox mode, unlimited funds, no bankruptcy. Uh, no thank you. Um, map size, medium. Sure. Um, medium or do we want large? We want medium or or large? I don't know. I guess we'll go large. Why not? Um, so, random events coming soon. Uh, let's put soon in quotation marks there because... Who knows? <laughs> I, I swear, everything is early access these days. Um, tutorial is also coming soon. I, I have to say, I kind of wish there was a tutorial. I mean, it, it, it's pretty self-explanatory if you, you know, screw around with it long enough, but it's kind of hard to get um, once you first start out. So, okay, um, start from scratch. We are definitely not starting from scratch. I'm sorry, but screw that. I can't do that right now. So we're just going to start a new game, uh, maybe. That'd be good. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's see, here we are, um, yeah, this is the regular one that you usually start out with. We're going to need to hire some people, yeah, or uh, do we already have people hired? I can't remember. I can't remember this stuff. There we go. Okay, so these are our workers, I think. We've got some security, we have a janitor, uh, we should have some just like straight up staff, yeah, there we go. Okay, they just walk through the doors, the doors don't open, that's fine, uh, whatever, we don't need them to. Uh, we got two ticketing booths, or ticketing desks. I don't think that we need two, but all right, sure. Um, we already have one of these. Uh, gate A1, using indoor baggage services. Not assigned to baggage depot, uh, zero candidates. Okay, so I guess what we need to start off with, I believe, is figuring out how to get the baggage from the plane to the non-existent carousel. So we're going to go here. I guess we'll put, I don't know, put it here? Ah, uh, sure. We'll put that in baggage claim. Um, we are starting out with two uh, two hundred forty-four thousand nine hundred seventy-five coins. I guess that's fine. Um, so we've got security there. Everything seems to be going actually okay so far. I do believe that we need to get what the craft we need to get here. Uh, build. Um, we'll build. <laughs> Crap. I don't, I don't remember where this stuff is. I have the same problem in Prison Architect. I just can't find anything. It's absolutely incredible. So let's see, utilities. Is it utility? I'm trying to find a hanger. If um, if if you're wondering. So I guess we'll put a medium hanger here. What this does is it provides a place for you to store um, you know, little cars that take baggage places or baggage <laughs> baggage to places. We should have, come on, let's speed this up. We should have them working at least on the stupid baggage carousel. Okay, they got that done. That's nice. Um, listen, we need to assign, assign to, okay, it's already assigned to that. So then we need to, do we assign this to something? Assign to what? Assign, shit. It's, uh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, assign to, oh, I think, no, that's not right. Maybe it doesn't need to be assigned to anything. I don't, I'm not sure. Shit. I'm already unsure of things. So, oh wow, they already have that done. Um, so we need, we need, uh, okay, we can slow this down a little bit. We need some cars here. Some vehicles. And I'm not talking like, you know, anything fancy. We just, come on, the hell? Oh, come, for, for, Okay, 
Um, ops? Would it be an ops? I wonder? Um, seating. I mean, the vehicles do have seats, but I don't think that's right. Structures, door, all. Oh, fudge. Okay. Um, alright. Nobody panic. I uh, reports, cues, utilities, maybe? And I know that we need a, a baggage hub at some point, but we need a car first. Would it be in our build, maybe? Floors, tools, roads? Nope, nope, nope. God bless. Um, decor, no. Nope. Retail structures, maybe? No. I wonder if we just click on this, if it does something. Oh, assign vehicles. Let's see, we need to add, oh, here we go. A baggage car and a fuel, do we need a fuel truck? Surely, yes, right? I mean, you would think. So, okay, so we have those assigned, hopefully. Um, oh my god, we're losing money like mo no tomorrow. Um, and, okay, what was the first thing we need to do? We need to um, hire a CF, no, a CO or a C... F O. Oh, it's raining. It's kind of nice. Um, shit, I can't remember. Finance operations, ability to hire a COO. Okay, so I think that we need actually both of these. So let's get, um, we'll go ahead and research both of them. It's in queue. I don't know who the hell is researching this shit because <laughs> I haven't hired any officials or whatever. And let's build a foundation for uh, for their offices here because everybody knows a COO and a CFO need offices, right? I don't know. Um, so let's see, foundation. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and I guess we'll just build them here, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll we'll build them here. There we go. I think it's a little bit overkill, but it will also be fine. <laughs> ah, it's it's gonna be like the same. Uh, we're gonna go on the same lines as uh, my prison architect game. It's just gonna sort of be good enough, you know. It'll be it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Structures, comfort seating. Uh, uh, shit. What, I mean, what is a door? What even is a door? Is it? I mean. <sighs> Let's see, if we just, let's see, door. Okay, there we go. There's a door. We just need, like, we need, what? Like, a door, what do you think? Like, here? And then we'll put a wall somewhere, and then we'll put another door here for the other office. I think that would be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. What? Objects what? At least one aircraft gate must be functional. Why is it not functional? Why, why did everything just go haywire? I think it's because there's there aren't any walls yet, maybe? I hope so, because um, I don't like that bouncy thing. It really irritates the snot out of me. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, security zones. I know, I'm working on it. They're working on it. Everybody's working on it, and you're being obnoxious about it. So, let's see, clear, dismantles objects, removes walls. There we go. So we need to get rid of these walls. Good, so that way you can actually get to the door. Because that's always nice. Okay, so, um, all right, so while they're finishing that, Everything should be back to functional. Yes, no, maybe. Cool. All right, so we are down to 130 grand, um, almost 131 grand. I mean, I, w I wouldn't complain about that, but I'm also not trying to actually run a airport. So, all right, so this is where it gets a little bit confusing for me. Not gonna lie, gonna be completely honest with everybody. Um, we need uh, this baggage hub thing. And I understand it's blue to blue and pink to pink and all that, but um, I still don't, <laughs> I'm still having trouble grasping how this actually fucking works. So uh, I guess we'll put this like here and um, I, uh, we'll stick uh, a conveyor line, what, like from here to here? No, nope, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Stop it. Cancel the project. No nope, shit. Not that kind of cancel. Okay, and that goes here, and then this goes like to here? Maybe? Okay. So that clears that up. Whatever the crap. Oh, and then we need this baggage depot thing. Um, so that can go here. 
but oh shit and so then somehow oh crap I don't remember how to do this so this goes oh god so this oh my god okay this is not a time to panic it's gonna be fine so that goes here and then this goes like here no no god damn it um okay here let's let's see here okay uh, conveyor network overview connect blue to blue and pink to pink connect all objects to a hub multiple hubs can be connected connect blue to blue or pink to pink 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 to <laughs> so okay all right so then this has got to go well so okay cannot connect more than two objects on this type of segment okay um sure so let's cancel that. I I don't even understand what's going on right now. So Alright. Um So this needs to go hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know maybe maybe what I'm doing. Cancel that. Uh cancel that. And then let's stick this. I wonder if we could go like down here maybe and then this can connect down here to that yes maybe okay um and then this will go I uh, shit nope 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 oh my god I've got so much going on there yeah Maybe? I've got- okay, I don't know. If this works, it's gonna be a grand thing because I've got no clue what I'm doing. I think we spent about $20,000 uh, just trying to figure that out. That's okay. Everybody seems really happy, so it's fine. I still haven't figured out the Q situation either. I don't- I honestly am not sure if it actually works. So we're just not gonna bother with Qs at the moment. Um, we've only got one uh, gate here. So, let's see. Um, we'll put... Uh, 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 where's comfort? So we'll stick some um, benches throughout the situation here. Bench B, because everybody loves bench B. Uh, I know that's my favorite bench. So we'll put that there. Um, and what I would really like to see, which may or may not happen, would be like outlets. You know? Because I've done a little bit of traveling lately and I've noticed there aren't nearly enough outlets anywhere. It drives me completely nuts. A cafe table. That's nice. Okay, so uh, I don't see any outlets. There's an electronics vending machine, so you can purchase some electronics but not be able to charge them, so that's good. Um, we'll put a Coke machine there. Where's the food vending machine? Okay, it's there. Um, and then hmm, a snack kiosk. It's $15,000, but I mean you know why not right so should we put it like in here or should we put it um oh man that's really cute so i guess we could just put it here i'm not real sure who runs that though i don't know um okay so they're working on the conveyor belt hopefully everything works there what requires oh, okay uh assigned to that gate there we go all right, are we good? Is this good? What now? Okay, it's functional now. You never know. All right, so I love how they have these cardboard boxes here. Like, like that's totally gonna hold all this heavy shit that they're trying to put together. Mm -hmm. That always works super well. So, no, I actually did some, um, honestly, some boxing and packing and chipping and that kind of crap for a living. And I'm sorry, but these boxes could not hold Vinch B. I'd like to see what kind of box is going to hold the snack kiosk. Okay. So, alright. So, while that's going on, I guess we should, um, I think we can get some, uh, how is our research on COOs and CFOs and UFOs doing? Okay. Um, we can hire a chief operations officer, finally. I don't know. I really been paying attention. So, uh, Kurt, I, to build, we're going to build a wall. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna build a wall. Uh, how? Where's the wall? From the windows to the walls. Okay. 
build a oh that's not even remotely equal cancel project um you see here at corn puff airlines or whatever the crap this is there's got to be something better than that here at whatever the crap this is airlines or maybe it could be what the crap is this airlines i'd like that even better oh that's so disturbingly wrong there's got to be there's okay we're doing something Jeez! Okay, it's just wrong all the way around. So what we're gonna do... Sorry, guys. What we're gonna do is... Unfortunately, we're going to have to build... A little addition here. I'd rather do that than take something away. So we'll build another row of foundation there. So that way, everything can be fairly... What's the word? fairly even, fairly equal, because we are all about equality, right? So we're going to put a wall there, so it'll be a little bit bigger once it gets there. And then, um, zones, shit, uh, office, that's right. So a uh, fully enclosed door must contain an office desk and an office chair. I think I can pull that off. Pretty sure we're good. So, all right, yeah, yeah, blinky blink. Um, okay. Where the hell are... Ah! I mean, there's like every other chair here, except for a fucking office chair. I don't understand. Okay, um... You know what? Forget it. Let's see, office... Okay, office chair. We're gonna put that somewhere. Uh, we'll do the desk first. We'll put that here. Good lord, they have the biggest office ever. Um, maybe if we have to build more offices in the future, we can fix that. So we'll do that. Uh, let's see. Um, I guess we could also put it, we'll go ahead and be proactive here. Put this desk here. Well, nope, 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 nope. We gotta wait until this is done. So, um, objects, build, uh, let's see, clear. So we're gonna clear this wall. All right. That should make them look a little bit more even. It does. So, all right, so we'll go back to the office stuff here. Office desk, boom, and office chair. Nope, that's not an office chair. That's an office chair. Good. And then we need to hire, slow the crap down. Okay, we need to hire a COO. Oh good, we can hire a CFO as well. Okay, you just head in there, I suppose. Um, let's see, you need to, mm, Land expansion, I don't really care about that. We need to hire a CFO first. Can we just, whoa! That person looks pale as hell. Oh, honey, you are one pale cookie. Okay, so, let's see, we need to zone, um, zone another office here. Where the crap is the office? There it is, found it. Oh, stop it. So we're gonna zone this as an office. Good lord, that's big. All right, you have the biggest office in the world, Jesus, except for um, the COO. She had, whoa, okay, that's fine. I mean, you know, I'm I'm all about it. The whole changing of the person as soon as you click it, whatever, that's fine. Um, so let's see, pricing. Oh yes, we definitely need that. Standby gates, what is this? Standby gates can be used to improve airport operations by reducing the number of canceled or delayed flights. I mean, that's nice. Um, the ability to build and abolish roads, we can probably do that later. So let's go ahead and do um, pricing here. And we should probably, hmm, we should probably research bank loans while we have the money and don't need a loan. But I mean, that's, that's way too, way too much for me, so. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here as far as getting some planes in. Because that's what it's for, right? That's what airports are for. So right now we can only do AM and PM um, flights because we don't have uh, runway lights. See? It rhymed. It's good. Um, so a Ford Air, we've got, let's see. Um... So why can't we accept any of these? Three offers are locked. Your airport does not yet meet the requirements for the aircraft types. Okay, I guess they're too big or something. So we can accept... Which one? Which one can we accept? Come on now. We can accept this Boeing 737 that comes in the afternoon. So we'll accept that one. That's good. 
Oh, oh, we get a little bonus for that too. That's also good. Um, let's see. Do we have any morning type ones? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's adorable. How many people does this hold? This uh, Beechcraft 1900. It looks so tiny. Is there nothing a little bit bigger so we can get some more people in here? Um, hmm. Nope. Well, oh well. We'll just get another afternoon one in. And what about this? Nope, we already looked at that, didn't we? I don't remember these things. Uh, arrow time. Oh, look at all this. Okay, we can do this little guy. And I think we can take uh, one more afternoon slot, but I'm not sure. So let's see, we're gonna get rid of that schedules. So this one needs to uh, arrive in the morning. So it will arrive here. <laughs> it's a very satisfying sound, I like it. Uh, afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Is there another morning one? Maybe not, I'm not sure. So this one needs to arrive in the afternoon, so we'll put that here. And we don't wanna put this too close to that one or else bad things could happen. And then this one, also arrives in the afternoon so there we go all right so we need more morning flights for sure warning set flight what 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 oh it went away okay so um let's see uh okay that's right this was a little plane that's okay it'll be fine i don't i don't even know if it's a little plane it just looks little on my screen so we'll put that here okay ding dong so we should be good to go um, the one thing that I do uh, like about Prison Architect over this game, for sure, is that, um, you know, the people stick around. Like, does that make sense? Um, it's, whoa. <laughs> I mean, obviously the security sticks around and the staff sticks around and whatever, but the customers don't stick around. They are, I mean, it's, it's an airport set. You know, they're not stuck in here. It's not, you know, Prison Architect um, meets Sim Airport because that would be like, that would be, a, what was that movie? that, um, that, uh, oh man, they were stuck in the airport with the Langoliers or something like that. It was something. I don't remember. It was, is that by Stephen King? I don't remember. But anyway, that would suck. So they're not stuck here, so we can't really get to know them. Um, which is kind of sad because I like getting to know my prisoners <laughs> or, or my, um, I don't know, passengers or whatever, but we don't get to do that and that's okay. So, um, Let's see here. Why don't we see if we can, um, let's see. I want to get lights on these things so we can get some nighttime flights in. So, let's see. Allows management and bus, garbage retail, and light rail services. No, that sounds like it is, but it's not. Um, road building, ability to build and demolish roads, blah, blah, blah. Operations, no. Okay, what is it then? I don't, hmm. So, we need, oh, I think I remember what to do here. So we need to see if we can, come on. I think what you do is you click this and then upgrade with lights. Okay, so um, 25,000, are you freaking kidding? Seriously? I mean, I guess it's worth it, right? Jeez, okay, so hopefully, whoa. Hopefully this will be worth it and it'll be okay. So that way we can get some nighttime flights in um, so they're, hopefully they'll become available here in just a second. Any day now. Okay, cool. So now that we have runway lights, we can get in some nighttime flights. <laughs> that will never get old. Okay, why can't we do this yet? Oh, medium or larger. Okay. Alright, whatever. Um, okay, so look at this. We got, uh, night. We'll accept that one. And, um, I don't... I don't know. We'll accept that one and any any nighttime. Okay, and then this one. So we've got three nighttime flights coming up, which is good. So we'll have to put them in the schedule. So Pacific Airlines can go. Oh, there. Okay, why can't they go past like ten? All right, we may have to, oh, plane, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, so here's our first plane. Who is this? This is from Aerotime, flight 8931. Yeah, this is a bomb, bombardier. <laughs> oh my God, I can't, okay, I'm not even gonna try. So, okay, 
with <gasps> there are no trash cans hold on that is like freaking Civ 101 so is it a bin garbage bin okay so oh my god we need to fix this like immediately we'll put one in the in the restroom just in case people actually like you know pay attention and there we go so I don't know put some here uh there we go there we go and put that there perfect all right I would love to see some like luggage coming onto the thing that would be good unless everybody had a carry-on there we go good perfect look at that something worked that's fantastic okay I need to definitely hire uh, a, a one or two more janitors do we, have, do we have money for that yeah okay so our customer satisfaction passenger satisfaction is 54% and rising um, I do need to get rid of this guy here unfortunately termination fee is six grand but I don't know where to put it. Arr. Where can I put this thing? I don't think I can put it anywhere. Um, yeah, no, I can't. I mean, I, like we try to overlap, we don't have multiple gates. So we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and get rid of it. Dang it. So there we go. All right, the janitor is standing on top of the trash, which immediately gets rid of it, which is awesome. That's good. Um, Alright, so still passenger, uh, what's the word, satisfaction is 54%, and I think the more the passengers are satisfied, the more the airlines are interested, I don't know, but so far airline interest is 42.79%, which is not bad, actually, it's really not bad, it could be better, but it also could be worse, so um, let's also, while we're thinking about it, let's get, um, Let's get those little, those boards that tell you how late you are for your flight up. So that way people can totally stress, uh, is it, what is it? Flight, ah, flight info display. So people can come in right there and immediately go, oh my god, I'm so freaking late, I hate my life. Yep. Um, and we only have one security thing running, so god bless your soul if you're in a rush. But there's also only one gate. Oh look, this must be the Beechcraft thing. Yep, it is. How many people is a hold? Does it even say? Um, okay, so that shows the luggage going through there, and then the luggage goes, okay, over here to this thing, and it is teleported into the baggage depot. <laughs> um, and, all right, so people are headed out. That's that's cool, I guess. Um, jeez. Now, I, I kind of wish that like real baggage could be teleported because the last time I flew, actually coming home, a bunch of my stuff was crushed. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I had, um, you know, I, I had makeup and I had like, you know, deodorant and all that kind of stuff. It just smooshed. They just totally smooshed it. I don't know what they did if they ran over it with the plane or what happened, but it was complete misery. I am telling you. Now what they don't have, what they're completely missing is the person who just seems to be doing nothing, but is also telling you what you're doing wrong. Like these people are not taking their shoes off. That's not okay. Um, I mean, they're not even putting anything into the bins. They're just sending the bins on through. That's totally not okay either. Um, I mean, Lord knows, they could be missing bombs in those suitcases. Who knows? All right. Ah, people are at the snack kiosk or whatever this is. So that's good. Uh, revenues is hour, 30 bucks. Nice. See, look how popular this electronic spending machine is. Probably, okay, this is actually genius on our airport's part because what it is is people's phones and iPads and shit, I don't know, um, Game Boys and stuff are dying. And so they're having to go to this electronics vending machine to buy new ones instead of being able to charge it. Yeah. So, I mean, some people call it crazy. I call it brilliant. So let's get another electronics vending machine if we can afford it. We can pretty much afford it, for sure. Uh, retail. We'll just stick it right next to the other one. That'd be fine. Okay. Cool. All right. Look how happy these... Oh my god. This guy is so, so freaking happy. This woman is happy. That woman looks like she's plotting something. Wow. Okay. All right. That's that's fine. Um, sure. You can do whatever you want, I suppose. I would look out for that one. Where is security? Oh my god. This must be Southwest because everybody's just sort of like glitching out and freaking out here at the gate. Um, because nobody knows what to do and nobody wants to sit by a pervert. Um, I'm not saying that happened to me, but I'm kind of saying that happened to me. 
So, anyway. So, there we go. Everybody's getting on the plane. That's nice. Okay. Uh, we got one more person. One more person. You're going to miss your flight, person. There we go. All right. Good. Perfect. Good. Nobody missed their flight. That's wonderful. Cool. Oh, you know what else we need? Whoa. Good lord. I got excited there. Um, we need one of those ticketing kiosk things. Kiosk. Uh, to, yeah, for people who aren't checking any bags. How much are these things? 1900 It'll be fine. There we go. So that way we don't bombard any of our workers and all that good stuff. So, alright. we're Okay, customer satisfaction is up to 61%. I mean, hell, that's pretty good if you ask me. Ay, yay. Um, people, whoa. You're sitting in the chair the wrong way. That's all right. That's perfectly fine. Now, see, this guy knows exactly what he's doing. He's traveled before. He's getting his iPhone because we don't have any outlets. Um, but he's got his yellow suitcase that he can see on the freaking carousel. Uh, and people don't pick it up and take it home because that really sucks. I also really like how when people are sitting in these um, benches, they lose their legs. That's cool. Um, so welcome to the airport where you have no legs when you sit and also there are no outlets so you have to buy a new phone every single time you fly. Holy crap, look at all these people barreling in. I love it. So look at this, they're all looking at the screen and stressing out because their phone is dead, they can't look at their schedule. <laughs> this guy's stuck as shit. Um, they can't look at their schedules uh, to figure out... Figure... <laughs> I'm sorry, just watching these people. Oh man, maybe I should like try to figure out the the line, the cue thing. I don't really understand how it goes, but we're gonna we're gonna give it our best shot here. So we're gonna expand the cue to here and wait the hell, wait. This, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna shrink that. What the crap? So we're gonna expand this to here. Okay, good. All right, and we're gonna come back down here so we can have like this nice twisty windy cue thing going here. So, and that, uh, no, that's fine, that's fine. And then we'll, no, for crap's sake, what in the world is this? Okay, so that's going to go here and then down here, and then we're just going to do the same thing here. I don't, I don't know if that red, I, I'm not sure. So, whatever. So we've got some cues-ish. Um, all right, um, I think we're going to need, do we have enough money for another uh, bag scanner? and a, a metal thingy. I don't know. So, decor. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Um, scanner? Nope, maybe, maybe that's in utilities. Is it in utilities? Nope. Come on now. Oh, here we go, bag, duh. Bag scanner, we're gonna put that, uh, frick, I don't know, um, here? Yeah, and then we'll put the, uh, the, what the hell is that thing? Uh, the metal detector somewhere else. There we go. So we'll put the metal detector here, make sure it's facing the correct way, which is that way. Good. And I don't know, I guess we need to hire two more security people as well, so we'll do that if we have the money for it. We almost don't, wait, that's, okay, good. I almost hired a janitor. So we got a new security person there, and... Hello? Can somebody um, plug in this metal detector? There we go. And then we have a new security person there. Perfect. So, ah, oh, wow. Wow, look at all these people. That is amazing. Yeah, this is definitely Southwest. Um, I'm not hating on Southwest. I mean, I actually flew it recently, but you confused there, bro? Um, but it is a little bit confusing and it's kind of stressful because you have to check in like 24 hours like immediately or else you get put like in the, the very back of the seating priority area. And that kind of sucks because then, um, I mean, it, it, it's basically like uh, check your bag station, you know, check your bag seating area. So, cause there's nowhere left to put your stuff. So you have to check it on the plane. Then I'll probably get lost or it'll get run over by the airplane itself. So, all right, might as well get some snacks while we're here. God, these people look so happy. Well, she looks, I mean, relatively happy, but that is nice. Okay, 700 bucks to use that. Profits are not doing so well, but that's okay. That is okay, it will be fine. Um, all right, so we should be having another plane coming in pretty soon here. Yeah. Oh, it's that little one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the baby plane. Oh, it's so cute, so tiny. How many people does this hold, like four? 
Six. <laughs> six. Okay. That's fine. Um, airline interest has gone up, I think, to 53.48. Was it 52? Something like that. So that's, I mean, hey, you know what? I'm going to take it. I will take it. Whatever. That's fine. Um, all right. Very, very good. All right. So, okay. So that is the gist of this. This, this has gone a million times better than it went last time. Last time I got pretty frustrated. It kind of was sad because I couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, I actually figured out the conveyor belt situation uh, pretty early. It kind of bugs me how like they've left residue through here, but I guess, you know, realism is key. I have no clue. Um, and so, I don't know, I, I might make another episode of this, and uh, when I do, we'll hopefully get another gate, um, gate in so we can get more planes in. I mean, who knows? We might even get another um, runway, and that would be even better. So... I mean, heck, life is good. So we are losing money at an alarming rate, but what are you going to do? So, all right, well, good. So there you go. Um, there is a Sim Airport six months after its original early release uh, date, and it's doing well. I mean, I like it. It's a fun game. I will pretty much play anything uh, that's a sort of a simulation game, anything that's like Sim, or, uh, like Prison Architect, I will play the hell out of. So, I mean, yeah, so you can find this on Steam. I'll put the description in the link below, um, so that way you can buy it if it looks like something that interests you. And, um, yeah, so I think I'm done here. So, alright, we'll keep going, keep laughing, and I will see you next time.